Salam Sejahtera, my friends. Besides being a food haven and popular tourist place, Penang is also a major electrical and electronic E&E &E manufacturing powerhouse. Penang is the second smallest state in Malaysia, only 0.3% of the overall land size of the country, but supplies over 5% of the entire world's back-end semiconductors, or 80% of natural output. Penang's GDP per capita is the highest among the states from 2015 to 2020, after the federal territories. Penang is also the top destination for foreign manufacturing investment, receiving 74 billion ringgit in 2021, making up 41% of Malaysia's total FDI. Penang also accounted for more than 29% or 363 billion ringgit of Malaysia's total export. However, these successes are not natural. The state wasn't like this in the early 2000s. Back then, it was a dark period for Penang's manufacturing sector. From 1994 to 2004, the number of MNC in Penang reduced by 63%. Employment in MNC fell by 69% in that 10-year period. One major cause is the rise of China. When China joined the World Trade Organization in 2001, many MNC relocated to China. Many companies in Penang folded. Bloomberg reported that Penang lost 12,000 high-tech jobs in the first nine months of 2001. Penang's tourism back then was also declining. Tourist arrivals were reducing about 100,000 per month from the year 2000 to 2002, partly due to the 9-11 incident. There were 3.7 million tourist arrivals in the year 2000. By 2007, the number has dropped to 3.4 million. That was a dark moment for Penang's economy. The two important sectors in Penang, manufacturing and tourism, were declining. It was a period of the great slide, Penang's economy sliding downwards. The shift of fate came after the 2008 general election with the change of the Penang state government. The new leadership under DAP worked hard to revive the troubled economy left behind by Parishan National and Gerakan. Furthermore, the DAP-led government had to work against the backdrop of the 2008 global financial meltdown originated from US housing bubble burst. As the saying goes, when US sneezes, the world catches a cold. However, through many initiatives such as open tender procurement and innovative policy, the DAP-led government managed to turn the tide and inspired new confidence among the investors. Their hard work paid off. 14 years later, Penang had the highest GDP per capita, became the largest recipient of foreign manufacturing investment and accounted for the most export in Malaysia. Today, there are more than 300 MNC with over 3,000 SME as part of the manufacturing supply chain in Penang. Penang is the second smallest state but is the second highest income tax contributor to the federal government in 2018. Tourist arrival in Penang jumped from 3.4 million in 2007 to 9.5 million in 2018, more than doubled the figure in 10 years. There are new challenges facing Penang today. The society, technology and geopolitical conditions have changed tremendously compared to the early 2000s. The emerging cities in Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia and other states in Malaysia are significant economic elements that Penang cannot ignore. Not to mention the political games played by PAS, APNO, Gerakan and MCA to destabilise Penang, stopping the state's development, for example, by cancelling loan guarantee for Penang RRT. Penang must continue to push ahead and progress so that the state will not slide into another dark period again like in the early 2000s.